everyone wants to treat the area of the local injury. But we always do that last. We start from systemic and then go to local, as you know. And that's the, the failing of many practitioners is to look at the local area of problem. And even if by treating the local area of problem, they can relieve the symptoms of that patient, they haven't treated the patient. They've treated maybe the patient's elbow or the patient's big toe. And yet, they had the opportunity somewhere along the way to pick up on some other major problem the patient was having that could have saved that patient much more, uh, much more misery later in life and maybe even prolong their life by identifying some nutrient needs or some lifestyle changes that needed to be done that if they would have followed the protocol, they would have fixed the toe anyway, but they would have picked up on a lot of other very important factors. And we're going to introduce the concepts this month of homocysteine relative to liver detoxification. And homocysteine affects uh, elevated homocysteine or inability to, to detoxify or metabolize, I should say, homocysteine affects quite a few people in our society and, and has impacts of creating degenerative conditions. And you could have a person who had a big toe problem or an elbow problem and fix it and let them go out the door. But if we say we're holistic, we need to be holistic. We need to look at the whole patient. We have an opportunity when we're treating the liver, for example, just to take one small example of this, to take the liver and find a sulfation problem in the liver, which will guide us into looking at homocysteine metabolism. And then we'll all of a sudden take a person who came in with an elbow problem, and we'll have a, a homocysteine problem associated with that elbow, and we'll treat their elbow relative to their whole system, and along the way we'll give them the nutritional factors and possibly lifestyle factors necessary to correct that elbow which are also to correct the homocysteine and will add 10 or 15 or 20 years to their life because we'll prevent cardiovascular disease or prevent carcinogenesis or prevent dementia or, or uh, Parkinson's disease or some of the other things that have been shown to be related to risk factors of uh, elevated homocysteine. So there are, a lot of, um, there are a lot of potentials we have for our patients. And if we look at the patients holistically, like we say we do like our training is supposed to have told us to do, like conceptually we do, then we need to look at the patient systemically first and then locally second. And a lot of times as we're looking at them systemically, we'll pick up on major health issues that no one knows is going on that are causing the patient to degenerate or be risk factors for a future a deterioration that we can intervene in in an early stage by looking at this protocol, regardless of if they come in for an elbow problem or a toe problem or, or whatever.